Hi, welcome back to Simply Read. Today we are covering these MRI terms frequently encountered on abdomen MRI. First off, the in-face and out-of-face images. These circles represent the signals produced by the protons in water and protons in fat. Another way to look at it is imagining these spinning protons. The frequency of their spinning would differ. Fat here is slower than water. Keeping things in simple terms, if we take a picture of these protons at time point A, where both water and fat are in phase with each other, we create an image where the signal of both water and fat are additive. If we take a picture again, this time at time point B, when they are out of phase with each other, there will be a signal drop. This signal drop will happen only if both the water and fat protons occupy the same voxel, as in this case, microscopic fat within the fatty hepatocyte. This time, point A is called the in-phase image, while this time, point B is called the out-of-phase or opposed-phase images. These images are created by gradient echo sequences where we listen to the echo twice, one at time point A and another at time point B. You might encounter the labels on your packs as echo time 1 and echo time 2. Now going back to our simplified diagram here. Again, water plus fat signal is in phase, while water minus fat is out of phase. Here are examples. In phase on the left, out of phase on the right. On the out phase, notice there is no signal drop meaning no microscopic fat, no hepatic steatosis. Let's take a second example. In phase here and out phase here on the right. This time, the out of phase image here shows signal drop. This is because the water and fat occupied the same voxel, in this case of fatty infiltration. Our take home points are, in phase is water plus fat, while out of phase is water minus fat. For lesions with intracellular fat such as fatty liver or adrenal adenoma, there will be signal drop on out of phase. To distinguish which one is the out phase image, look for the artifactual dark signal lining the organs here. This is called the India Ink Artifact. So we covered these two topics. These in-face and out-of-face image was described by Thomas Dixon in 1984. He further described that these in-face and out-face can be used to create fat-only and water-only images. To illustrate, let's take a look at these again. Because we have here water plus fat and water minus fat here, we can combine these two sets of images such that the MRI machine can derive the images which contain fat only and create image with water only. We are then given a set of four images just like these, in face and out face on top, fat only and water only at the bottom. This water only images achieves homogeneous fat suppressed images here, which is useful to eliminate the signal from macroscopic fat. Notice here that the subcutaneous fat and peritoneal fat are dark. On the other hand, the fat-only images here shows bright fat. It is used for fat quantification, mostly for research. Here are our take-home points. 
Dixon method creates water-only images, useful as fat set images and fat-only images for quantification of fat. This Dixon method is applied by vendors and are given different names, such as LabaFlex or Vibrant Flex for GE or M. Dixon for Philips. So there, in summary, we described these MRI terms and saw how the Dixon method gives us four sets of images. I hope you have learned something from this short video. Thank you very much for listening. Have a very happy, prosperous, and safe new year!